Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is finally another promo Friday. This is the promo we've been waiting on for the past two days. We're kind of learning what it's about and we have more information to talk about today with some possible players that could be in here based off the loading screen that was updated last night. I want to talk to you about what is going to be coming with this promo today, market movements that you could see, and also just explaining what this promo is because I don't think a lot of people understand it. And EA kind of laid it out for us today what it means. So I want to kind of explain that to you and show you what you can maybe expect today with some of the cards and how this could impact the market. So first of all, it looks like this promo is going to be replacing Ultimate Scream unless this is a one-week promo and Scream is going to be next week. We'll see, but it looks like this would. This is kind of going over the Halloween period leading up to Halloween, so it almost seems like this promo is kind of replacing Ultimate Scream this year. So without further ado, let's take a peek at what EA tweeted today and get you this information, right? Rule Breakers. This is the card design, right? Pretty awesome looking card design, really in-depth. Outline's kind of cool. The colors are awesome. I'm a huge fan of this card design. It looks great. We have three cards here on the front, and I would not be surprised if EA added another loading screen early this uh, Friday morning or Friday during the day. They do that sometimes, um, but we do have a center forward Belgian Napoli card. So this is obviously Mertens, right? Now, a lot of people have been asking, why does he have less dribbling and more shooting? Well, it's kind of the same thing, right? A striker from England, Tottenham Hotspur, that's Harry Kane, my guy. Why does he have 91 pace and less shooting? than what his normal card is. Well, let's read the EA tweet and get some info, right? Rule breakers leave behind their previous styles of play and transform into different kinds of stars with game changing stat upgrades. So basically, they're not changing positions. They're not changing work rates. They're not changing. I don't think they're going to upgrade skill moves or weak foots during this promo. I think literally all this promo is, is EA adjusting stats. On players like taking down stats in some categories and boosting them up in others right here again like Mertens gold card I think has 89 dribbling and 82 shot so they boosted his shot up to 90 and they're lowering his dribbling down to 84 so it changes and it transforms the way that he's gonna play inside a foot right this Harry Kane card is one that I am extremely interested in because I am a Spurs fan and a 91 paced Harry Kane would be correct. I guarantee you this card will be in my team. But it, again, it's just kind of the, this is the mantra of what this promo is. Some stats are going to get downrated, downgraded. And we've already seen that this year, right? If we go to the SBC section in the game, we've already seen some cards that have got special items that have had stats downgraded. This uh, Vitzel card, his gold item has like... Uh, 80 defending and like 82 physical or over 80 in both of those two stat categories and he has less than those from this item because this is uh what is this it's a celebrating the early stages of his career as an attacking minded midfielder so again these sbcs that we've had so far and almost all the special cards except for team of the weeks have been you know the thing that ea talked about earlier this year going into fifa 21 the new way they were going to be upgrading cards at least for some of the promos was meaningful moments and we've already kind of seen that taking place and i think that's going to take place as well today with some of the record breakers now of course to get back to this promo screen we know these two cards right this has to be harry kane in my opinion and this has to be Dries mertens but who is this and this is the million dollar question who is this brazilian player going to be now there was a little bit of a situation on instagram today this is donk foot trader he tweeted this out richarlison uh there we go richarlison has put his uh a comment below an instagram post of the new rule breakers card tease imagine if he does end up getting a rule breaker again this is an instagram post by 433 esports they say what player are you expecting to get into tomorrow's rule breakers squad and richarlison responds with the eye emoji so this might be richarlison right here and if we imagine richarlison getting a special card like a pace upgrade or a shot upgrade or something that could be a really really crazy card so why is this promo interesting right some people are like this promo idea is it's crap because they're lowering stats why don't they just keep the stats the same and upgrade uh the regular stats right well this is honestly just another way for ea to put out more 
different special teams and more promo cards throughout the year because it's just a new way they can upgrade cards and a new way that they can do stuff like that. That's honestly the way that I see it. It's just a new way for EA to put out cards and obviously to sell more packs with FIFA points. So with that being said, what could this promo do to the market today, right? What kind of content are we expecting? Just like with every other promo, right? We usually get an SBC for every time a new promo comes out. I would expect at least one SBC today, possibly two. Uh, I do think this Vitzel is expiring and I think we have one other, like one of the other small SBCs is expiring today. But uh, I would expect to see a Rule Breakers card available at SBC today at 6 p.m. UK, the content drop, I would expect an SBC card because that's kind of what EA has been doing with every promo. They drop an, a, an SBC card on the Friday and they've also, on the first Friday of a new promo, they usually drop an objective. So obviously we have a Silver Star, um, Mukhtar right now, a UCL group stages, but this goes away in 13 hours. This goes away in five days. So I would expect either one or two new objectives, one maybe like a Rule Breakers kit or or TIFO or something cosmetic, and then another Rule Breakers card available through objectives. So I don't know if we'll get 11 cards in packs today, kind of like we had with ones to watch, but content wise, I would expect a couple objectives and at least one SBC. Now for promo packs, we've already gotten more promo packs this year than we have in years past. Uh, there's none in the, in the store right now, but I would be almost 100% sure that we would have some sort of promo packs today. If we did get lightning rounds, that would be the earliest time we've ever gotten lightning rounds in FIFA Ultimate Team history. But honestly, I would not put it past EA. Last year, during the screen promo, we got 12.5Ks, 15s, 25, 35, 45, and 50K packs, but they weren't lightning rounds. They were just a limit of, you know, five or 10 or whatever in the store. So I would expect some better packs for this promo than ones to watch, but do they actually run lightning rounds? If they do, that's really gonna crash some cards on the market today. So that's one thing to kind of look out and watch for. I don't expect lightning rounds, but honestly, that's the EA way, man, is to make money. So I don't know. I could see it coming, I guess, is all I have to say about that. But again, getting more into what could happen with the market today, right? Since these cards are going to be getting pace boosts and boosts in different stat areas, what would a card like a, a very a 91 pace Harry Kane, what would that do to the market, right? Well, we have a lot of Premier League strikers already uh, that are, you know, this Timo Werner out of packs gold card right now is kind of flying at the moment. We have a Timo Werner inform. We got a Bomb Yang. Um, we got a Cal Dominic Calvert Lewin player of the month. We have an inform Jamie Vardy. So a lot of these cards today, we don't know what's going to be happening with them based on stat boost, based on uh, the, the actual players that are released in this team. There could be a lot of panic selling today and a lot of you know, market movements based off of just the cards that we do get and if they are super meta and if they are super hyped, right? I remember a card around this time last year that made a lot of market movements because he was just game breaking. Now it was a scream card, but it was this guy right here. Scream for me, no. If we get a card like this today, an all around midfielder, hull it gang, or, you know, just a really, really hyped up card like this. There were people last year that were panic selling icons like hull it and other midfield icons were getting panic sold because this card with the five star skills, four star weak foot and being hullet gang with, which means 80 in every single stat came on during the second week of scream, right? So if we get a card like this today, or just a really insane value card that with stat boost all around, like, I don't know, maybe think of some cards that could get a rule breakers item that have like one glaring stat weakness, whether it's like a passing or physicality or maybe pace weakness. And if they get a boosted card today, that could really impact the market a decent amount. So that's going to be very interesting. And it's going to put out some new cards that people are going to have demand for. So you're going to see some prices probably today in other areas of the market drop down because people are going to sell items to go buy these new items on the market, these new rule breaker cards. So what I would definitely watch for today, if you're looking to make coins or buy a team or invest, there's probably gonna be some sort of a window where some of these cards that are the popular players on Footbin that have risen up a lot since weekend league rewards, we haven't actually talked about it on a video on the channel, but goodness gracious, man, what a rise on meta cards in the past literally 24 hours. Uh, on the market. If you bought anything, if you followed the advice we talked about in the Thursday flipping video, you made a lot. You made bank, honestly, because a lot of these cards absolutely 
flew in price. Now, are they going to drop as low as they were before rewards on Thursday night on Wednesday? I don't think you're going to see these cards drop down to this point, um, at least in the next couple of weeks, unless it's a low rated card and it gets overcome by pack supply. But like Lucas Mora, he went from 42,000 coins up to 64k. Dude, went up 22,000 coins. That's incredible. Does this card drop today? Pack supply, yes, possibly. If there's another right mid in the prem, that would be a very popular card that some people would want to use instead of Lucas. Yes, you could see a guy like Lucas or Bale drop. Kind of think about the cards that come today. They're going to fit inside of a position in a league. And, you know, whether it's really linkable for a lot of people's teams could cause more panic on the market than other cards that could come on, right? Like a Mertens, yeah, that's kind of cool, right? A Harry Kane, that could cause some market movements. Let's say this Brazilian card is like, I don't know. Let's say it is uh, Richarlison, another Eng another Premier League striker card. That could really cause some market movements because of oh, how OP Richarlison is, how many links he gets. Like if there's two English strikers that come out today, or two Prem strikers, sorry, one English, one Brazilian, that could be very interesting for the market. So all I'm saying is, these meta cards, yes, they're in packs. They could get hit with some supply. There's no panic selling yet on a lot of this stuff. I'm not seeing, at least this is a couple hours before the promo starting, of course. But I would expect to see a little bit of panic selling before the promo starts. I'm not seeing it yet. One thing that I would probably get out of is these Team of the Week cards that are in packs right now. Uh, some of these have rebounded since rewards as well. Like Rashford was 520. Now he's up to 600K. If we're getting more English strikers, I would probably cash out just to be safe. Um, I know this is a very, very meta card, but he is going to get packed. He is going to get some packs to play today. So team of the week four cards I might cash out on and then rebuy during lightning round, not lightning rounds, but during the pack supply. And if there's any panic selling happening today on the game. So speaking of panic selling again, if you're looking to invest today, if you're looking to buy a team, you can buy some cards in the panic selling, play with them in weekend league and try to get them out before there's a weekend league sell off. But ones to watch cards and other out of packs informs are going to be my number one target today. One guy that I'm super interested in is Gareth Bale because Harry Kane is one of the top players on this promo screen. He's probably one of the headliners of this promo. And the fact that this card is down after the game today. Now he's up since, of course, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. He was 200 and whatever, 20K. Now he's up, he was up to 255. Now he's down to 229. He's kind of risen back to 240. If there's panic selling on this card specifically, because it's A, a link to Harry Kane, and these guys play, and get, Bale has got a lot of hype. He played yesterday for the for the Spurs game, right? We're rocking the Spurs kid today. Come on, you Spurs. Um, and he just has a lot of hype. So I'm, I'm watching this Bale card very closely because I'd like to buy it for my team. Honestly, he's got a game upcoming this weekend. And all of these guys play this weekend, right? Ziyech is up a little bit. He was 75,000 coins earlier. Partey is up. Tellez is up. So watch these guys from ones to watch because a lot of these guys play on Saturday, right? So that's tomorrow. If these guys drop today, if Havertz drops a big game between Havertz, Chelsea, and Van de Beek, Tellez, Man United on Saturday, if these guys do drop with panic selling, that's going to be an A1 place to look on the market for panic today um, because of um, the new cards that come out. And if people are worried about those and they're selling some of these, these are still live items that could get upgraded. So those could be good investments. Now, the other thing I would look at as well, if we start to get leaks this morning, which leaks are very common with promos like this. Now, whether they're legit or whether they're not, start if you see them or even when the team comes out right away, start to think about link investments. We've already touched on that with Bale, just a slight bit. Guys like Lozano are already inflated for a link investment to Adrias Mertens. But when the rest of the team gets released today, watch for link investments because people will buy cards that link to these. If they are a good price, if it's a popular card, if it's meta, there will be an opportunity, especially if it's an out of pack inform, those cards can really boom. Um, uh, one guy that hasn't risen that much is Sergio Ramos out of packs, right? This is an inform out of packs. He's still 230K. Let's say for some reason we get a Real Madrid card today like a left back Marcelo or something that, that is a cracked out card that people would want to use. And there's a lot of hype, or maybe, I don't know, somebody from Real Madrid that would be hype, right? They would link to Ramos. Maybe you see a guy like this rising. Maybe you see um, Firmino, who would be a striker in the Prem, maybe dropping because of a guy like Richarlison. There's going to be substitute and complementary items that move on the market today because of these new cards. And this is kind of the first promo of the year where we actually have that because it's new. It's not ones to watch items that we're expecting 
we're kind of looking for. These are new items that we really don't exactly know what's coming and how they could impact the market. So definitely watch out for some of that stuff today. And link investments are going to be great to pop on right away, in my opinion. Um, if there is panic selling, you see a card dip down. Let's say the, the team comes out and let's say like maybe a Kingsley Coman or a Douglas Costa on Bayern is in. And maybe it's a Douglas Costa who instead of having, you know, incredibly high amounts of pace on his Bayern card. This he's got 93 pace. Let's say EA rock him back to 90 pace, but then they give him like 83 or 85 shot, which puts his finishing up really high. And then you have a five-star skill uh, pacey winger that can actually shoot, right? This is Douglas Costa's biggest flaw has always been his shooting, right? Uh, in multiple FIFAs, that all, all, always happens. Let's say they give him a card today and he gets boosted shot, right? That would mean possibly a guy like Lewandowski would go up, maybe Holland for the Dortmund links. You know, other players like maybe Davies at left back could rise after the initial supply, pack supply. So really just, it's going to be an interesting day on the market to watch some of this stuff. And then general market movements, since we're if we're getting lightning rounds, then I would 100% expect a big market rise on meta things, high rated cards and icons later into the day. I would expect icons to possibly take a bit of a dip today as well because some of the icons that are on this game that people use a lot, um, you know, we might have some other midfielders that come out today that are in like the 400, 500K range where this Varon is that people might go sell their icon to go try a new promo card. So watch out for panic selling. Watch out for cards that get listed. Uh, the 59th minute for icons is going to be great because I do think that if stuff drops into the early part of the day, you will see a rebound later on in the day just because people who sold cards for their weekend league teams have to buy back, right? They have to buy back and they have to do something. So I am uh, watching and thinking about that sort of market movement today as well. Last thing, and this is the last thing, and I probably shouldn't have said this for the, for the end of the video because this is very important, but SBC fodder. This has not been talked about very much. We are getting into the point of the year where more and more SBCs are going to be coming out. People are going to start investing in this stuff. It's still very low right now, in my opinion. If we get a big time SBC today, you are going to want to take this advice. If we do, of course, beforehand, I don't know if we're getting one, but a club stock would be a really good decision right now. 83s are 1,000 coins, 1.5K for like right back Trippier, who is English, who is La Liga, who has incredible links. If we get any any inform or not inform, any promo card that we would get today, I wouldn't think it would be more than like an 85 or 86 squad requirement for any of the SBCs that we got. So a club stock from the 82, 83, all the way up to the 86 rated range is a really good shout in my opinion. Whether or not uh, you we actually get a big time SBC today, these prices are pretty low and they stayed low. And all it takes is the Icon SBC hype to build up. I know we're only a month away, but we're going to get more SBCs in, until then. And if we do get one good SBC today, these guys could pop. And you might be wishing that you made that investment. So if you're on somebody, if you're somebody who's got a decent amount of coins, and I've already kind of went and done this with stuff that's in my club, um, you know, go, go inside uh, into the market and, and just snag some players, right? Like I've got a bunch of 84s in here that I bought today or Yarza Ball. I might have actually packed that. No, I bought him for 3.5. I bought this uh, Idrissa Ghana Gay at 3.7. Iago Aspas right here. I basically just did a very small club stock of like 83s and 84s today. I need to do a little bit more. But I, I filled up my club with some of these players because uh, I knew that there's going to be SBCs that are coming soon. And I want to have these guys in my club ready to go just in case we do get an SBC, whether I want to do that SBC myself or if I want to sell, right? Club stocking cards is a very, very good way to, uh, it's like a passive investment. You chuck the cards in the club, you wait for them to go up when an SBC comes out. It's that easy. So again, that's the video for today, boys. It is a big time promo today, right? Rule breakers, first ever promo for rule breakers. It's going to be fun to see what cards come out. Hopefully EA do some hype stat boost and don't downgrade too many stats um, because that could kill the vibe a little bit. But hopefully the SPC content and objective content is good as well. And we will definitely see some market movements. So definitely watch out for some of those. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.